Hey, what's up? Giorgio Bloso here. Thanks for stopping by to check out this um, tutorial inside 3ds Max. Um, so today I'm going to show you guys how you create an ambient occlusion pass using all node inside 3ds Max. Let's get started. I've got this scene here. So what I'm going to use first thing first is that you want to go to your render setup, change your renderer to all not, then open the material editor. In here, type ambient occlusion. In here, you want to type. You could connect this material straight into your standard uh, surface, but essentially you just want to uh, go for a map to material connect this one over there select everything in your scene and then apply the material in in the uh, ambient occlusion node you want to just uh, you could play with all these settings over there so you could play with sampling spread if you have a larger scene to work with the sampling the higher the samples the better the quality of course so for this scene we're going to bump up fall off just a little touch and then that's us so we're done we're going to test the render now um so we go you're gonna go to uh f10 render settings again and then uh we're just going to get a better uh yeah 1280 1280 should be okay and then just render see there you go ambient occlusion inside 3ds max that's how you create it thanks for checking out this video and i hope to see you in the next video consider subscribing leave your comment all the good things and merry christmas and happy new year